Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeebs here. I'm an old composer here at the World Music Reaction and Review Channel. And um, I'm accompanied by my grandson's cup here. That's why I don't have my usual cup of coffee. I've got juice <laughs> in my cup here. So um, I was in a really good mood this morning and decided I wanted to do a video for a Saturday, even though I know it's kind of like a low watch day on YouTube kind of a thing. It doesn't matter. My channel, Joy of Music. Uh, so you know how much I love acoustic guitar, uh, especially my very first video actually, I think one or two, was on an, uh, uh, an, an acoustic guitar artist in Indonesia named, well his, I think his name is Alif Gustava, or Gustakov or something, but he's, he's very well known as Alip Bata. And I love that kind of guitar playing, open chords, open strings, open tuning, very unique finger techniques and stuff. Well somebody had said I had to see or listen to this individual by the name of Mike, I'm gonna say Dawes. Forgive me if I pronounce the name wrong. Um, on my other channel, my heavy metal channel, I'm so known for that, so you know, it happens here. And, and another thing is the song that I'm supposed to be listening to, uh, a link was sent to me, but it says playing the impossible on guitar. I don't think that's the name of the song, but this is what I'm gonna be listening to. This is what you're gonna watch, and I'll make sure to put the link of this video down below. So like usual, thank you so much for your support. For your support, all the links are down below. If you want to join me on my social media stuff, all the links are down below. All right, guys, let's do this. This is Mike Dawes playing guitar, playing the impossible on guitar. All right. Okay, before I let this get too far away from me so that I can say what I say and then we'll finish the, uh, the video. First of all, I kind of felt because of my relationship with my channel, my heavy metal channel, I listen to a lot of uh, artists, uh, bands like Tool, that do these very odd meters and combining meters. It sounds like there's like a 5-4 going on here over 4-4. Four, four. Anyhow, I'm not that kind of guy that breaks down things in that nature generally, but the very unique rhythmic pattern that's going on is already in of itself beyond his capabilities as a musician and, and a composer is very attractive to me. That very odd kind of like keeping you in check, not letting you settle, uh, letting you settle enough, but then giving, keeping you a little bit on the edge by the unique, you know, tempos and counter um, polyrhythms. Oh God, I'm thinking of another word, sorry, uh, that he's doing. Now let's get to the technique. I can't help but think about my very first experience with an artist like this was a guy named, oh shit, he, he blew up on you, he was one of the very first guitar players to truly blow up on YouTube, ah, Andy McKee, and that was the first time that I was introduced to the technique, very similar to this, and also hitting the guitar for percussion, and hitting different parts of the guitar to, uh, not only as a percussive instrument, but also yields different tones, tight tappy sounds or deeper sounds by hitting the thumb maybe in the body and stuff like that. Um, so this to me is extraordinary and so clean played. Um, one of the things that I'm, I looked at and I said, hey, that's really cool that he actually, I don't know what the open tuning is on this, but that his capo uh, going across the fourth fret, he left the string, one, uh, the open string below. So because I don't know what the tuning is, it is such a beautiful tone, such a great sound. Now his technique is unquestionable. It's 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 uh, 
uh, I have nothing but but honest in in Donis <laughs> Donis playing. Uh, so I just wanted to go forward. I wanted to move in on that. Uh, all the other technical things that he's doing when he opened up with playing a pick on this side, that little space in between the capo and the nut and stuff, really super nice. It's really super chill. I love the tone of this. I love the arrangement and everything so far. Jeez, what a beautifully haunting, if I may say so, uh, composition. Beautifully haunting, I think, for me, stands for the fact that this particular composition is pulling from the soul these beautiful, ethereal kind of vibe, um, atmospheric, you know, ambiance. Um, but yet, that decision to drop back into where he's doing what he's doing, where he's taking his pick and doodling around in that little space there, <coughs> And what he's doing in that muted tapping that he's doing with his fingers um, was was there was a dissonance in that that was very it, it wasn't off-putting, a little unsettling, but the tones that have already been stirred up in here through his performance and his composition still kind of live. I, I sometimes I use this as an example if you if you ever cook on barbecues just because you take the steak off the barbecue doesn't mean it's still not cooking a little bit kind of the same thing here so when you listen to a piece like this it'll cook and rotate in your mind for a while especially if you love it but then you have that as a guide I kind of call that the zip line you know um, sub texture guide if you would that emotionally builds here when you hear music of, of this nature for me at least and then by that little ending I, it was just so, so tasteful, absolutely tasteful. The textures too that, that he's playing, I mean, there's so many, that there's, there's a lot yet not, there's a lot going on there, but not as much as you might think. And what I mean by that is um, his ability to be able to keep the tempo. So it's almost like keeping a, a, a mid-range arpeggiation with the right hand. And here, the picking configuration, it seems like, sounds like, I'm not really that this good at this, sounds like he's keeping more of a square time in that, you know? It wasn't that he was doing these incredible kind of things that we've watched a lot of great guitar players uh, <coughs> do. It's, there's no need for it, especially in a particular piece of this nature. Um, but to me, the, the, uh, the melodies that he's playing here on this, you know, uh, 
that he's emphasizing more from his right hand is so cool and so powerful. You know, it's, it's not about fretboard gymnastics, you know, in this case. I'm sure, it, there's no two ways about it, I'm sure he definitely, him uh, as, a, as a musician and stuff probably has that technique. But in this piece of music, uh, it was absolutely wonderful to listen to, um, you know, that left-right hand coordination. I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't do anything like that. But that's why I can sit here and enjoy it, but with enough knowledge of guitar playing to be able to go, wow. And also the other thing too, is that, um, I'm, as I'm looking at this too, I notice that the you know the action on the guitar, uh, his, his instrument is so well tuned for his playing, and I think a lot of people forget that, you know when you're when you're a race car driver, you go fat, you you could do more things if your car is tuned in the way that you drive the car. In this case, he I don't mean tuned, but uh, modded up. You know, let's say, same thing for any musician that has their instruments modded up, and a lot of and guitars and bass they call that setup. You know, your setup. Uh, but that doesn't in of itself make him the musician. It's just the whole combination of it all that just glowed. Look, look at how long I've been talking about this. This is how much I enjoyed this. It was just a great piece. The link for this will be down below so that you can enjoy this without me yammering over it. Have a killer weekend, rest of your weekend. I'm going to drink my, uh, this, is a, this is what we call here in Hawaii, fruit punch. Mmm, nami nam. <laughs> Thank you guys for the support. For the videos, liking, sharing the videos, leave your comments, and like I said down below, you can check out uh, some more ways to hang out if you'd like on my social media. You guys take care. See ya. <laughs>